Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am about to get ready for my management team's annual holiday party. It's a cocktail attire holiday party and I am so excited to see everyone all dressed up. I showed you guys the dress that I bought in my last vlog, but if you haven't seen it, it is the Zenny dress from Reformation. I got it on sale on Black Friday and I have these sparkly crystal earrings from Anthropology that I got last year for a holiday party that I am gonna rewear. And I'm thinking of doing a red lip, but that is gonna be a game time decision because I haven't even decided if I'm redoing my makeup or not. And it's like 5 p.m. But I just, I can never decide if I should just touch up my makeup or take it off and redo it because I have really sensitive skin and so I don't want my skin to like be irritated. I feel like timing has never been my specialty and so like having to walk Sammy, get dressed and leave on time and eat dinner, it, it always just kind of stresses me out. But I also put my hair in a braid so we can do a nice little like tucked in cute bun as opposed to just my normal slick box which is relatively messy. So. I've decided to do my makeup from scratch because I just know that I will feel better if I do that. And my skin was starting to look dry because I do have a dry skin type. So I am starting out with some future do. I just put some moisturizer on. I also pinned up the braid and that was quite the experience. If my hair starts to fall out tonight, I'm just gonna have to call an Uber. I haven't done like a full glam in a minute. I kind of forget that I do my eye shadow first. I am using this beautiful Auric paint pot in the shade Temper. That is exactly what I wanted. Just like a nice, soft, rosy champagne. I'm very much a one eyeshadow girl. I just feel like it suits my eye shape. My favorite foundation for events is the Say foundation, but it's too dark on me. So I used a combination of this one from Kosas with my Say slip tint to make it a little bit sheerer. Using the Patrick Ta brow gel to set these crazy hairs into place. I've really been letting them grow out. That's kind of the trend right now. Using the Merit Bronze Balm in the shade Clay. Make sure you really get it into your hairline. I'm also going to use powder bronzer after I do my blush because the last thing you want is for like the paleness of your roots to show and then just like a harsh orange highlight. For blush, I'm gonna use Rosy by Say and I just replaced my blush brush because mine broke after a good probably 10 years with it. Um, and so this is the Rare Beauty blush brush and I really like it as well. It's very soft. It's like the perfect size for applying blush. Setting the under eyes with the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. And I'm also going to set my bronzer with the Fenty Into Sun Powder Bronzer. And I'm using a really big sweeping brush because I kind of want to just look bronzed everywhere. Setting spray, mascara, and I feel like we're pretty much good to go. I'm proud of myself for how quick we did this. I feel like at this point in my life, I have really gotten my makeup down quick. I don't experiment. <laughs> and it turns out usually how I want it to, as long as I'm pretty consistent. Okay, now we have some Say mascara. And I think I just heard my boyfriend's car, but he needs to take a shower, so he won't be in the way. This is probably expired, but if you know, you know, Ruby Woo from MAC is the best red. It's so dry, it's like skipping. I feel like with the slicked back hair, it's giving dance competition. I might need to take it off immediately, but I am going to do it justice by putting on my outfit first. Here's the dress, here's the bag I'm gonna bring. We have polka dot tights from Cezanne and the two shoe options. I need to look at the mirror. I like the pattern of the pattern. Yeah, the boats are in. We're going with the patent because it matches my bag. The one boat. I think that's the final look. I might put a little bit more glitter on my eyes potentially, but I will link everything I can link below.
I am picking up coffee this morning from Alfred. I actually took all of yesterday off of vlogging because the portrait party was so much fun that I truly felt hungover even though I didn't drink. Like I, my feet hurt, my throat hurt, so much talking. Um, the food was really good as well. It was at Hatchet Hall in Culver City, which I think is like a Michelin star restaurant, but they have a little bar next door called the Old Man Bar and that's where it was at. And I would highly recommend going there. It was like very cute, very cozy. And they had a skillet gluten-free cornbread, which was just incredible. I, You know I had to eat it. Today I am going to be making some baked goods for a white elephant party we're going to this evening. And the budget for it was $50 for the white elephant part. And typically I feel like the ones I've gone to are a little bit cheaper. Like I brought the cards, um, we're not really strangers cards to my friend's white elephant earlier in the month, but this one has a higher budget. So we were trying to figure out what to do. And I saw a TikTok that recommended getting a giant bottle of water from Erwan, like the Erwan branded water. That's like $40. So I think that's what we're gonna do. It was so crowded in there, but I got my holiday cup. This is a vanilla latte with light syrup and macadamia nut milk. Their macadamia nut milk is so good. It tastes like a macaroon cookie or something. And then I got Kyle a large cold brew with a splash of the macadamia nut milk. And now we can go home and relax. If you forget to soften butter ahead of time, just cube it and you should be good to go. I'm making two types of cookies and they're actually the same ones I made last year, ginger snaps and snowballs, but I do finally have a handheld mixer, which does help a lot. The other dough is in the fridge. Now we're making the snowballs. Clean hands, no rings. <laughs> Important detail. Dough is done. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and do all my dishes while listening to a podcast. Popping in to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing business, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. I've been using Squarespace to host my website for the past few years now, back when I was in college to get jobs, and now as a landing page to learn more about me as a content creator. It's gone through many iterations, and that's one of the things I love about Squarespace. They have thousands of flexible website templates that allow you to customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs at any time. Thanks to their drag and drop technology, the entire process is intuitive. You don't have to be a professional to have a professional looking website. Squarespace also gives you access to powerful analytics about the back end of your website. So where site visitors and sales are coming from. So you can use that information to improve your website. There really is no better platform than Squarespace space. If you're interested in checking it out, use my code LindsayRem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm doing some more Christmas wrapping. I got this beautiful glittery brown paper from Whole Foods, which is actually where my other wrapping paper was from as well. They were on sale, so I just got it there this year. But I'm wrapping my boyfriend's Christmas presents. I got him a cable knit sweater that he specifically asked for. He sent me the link. So I know he wanted that, but I also got us a couples massage at the Now Massage, which is like one of the best places in LA to get massages. It is so nice and they don't do typical couples massages, but you can like book them at the same time and like go together. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I also got him a Hatch Restore alarm clock because this brand actually sent me two, one to gift and one to have. So I think this I'm just gonna put on top with a bow because it was gifted to me. So it's like, just kind of like a side thing. Um, this is the main present. And then I also got him his favorite dessert, the Magnolia Bakery famous banana pudding 
which I've never had before because it's gluten and dairy and I don't really like banana desserts, but it is his favorite thing in the world and um, it's probably the last thing I think he would expect me to have. And I have been sick for the past few days, so I haven't had any time to do more holiday baking or really do much of anything. I had a fever. I think it was like more than just a sinus infection. It was pretty bad. I intentionally spared you from having to listen to my sick voice. Here it is all wrapped. I just ordered us some Indian food for dinner. And then these are presents for my managers, which I'm gonna drop off tomorrow that I also wrapped tonight. I got them mugs from my favorite ceramicist. And then I got myself this bowl while I was there because I just could not resist that thick edge. It is so, so cute. You guys know how I feel about my mugs. This is the one that I got both of them. It's from OM Ceramics and it's just the perfect size for a nice big morning coffee. Are you ready? I, I don't know. It's too big so I couldn't wrap it. So I just have to- Wait, what? Oh my God. <gasps> what does it say? Oh my God, it says Sammy. That's so cute. I think the short one looks better, but oh like, it's so impractical. The big one. This is going to the Rose Bowl. It's in the brown bag. I don't know. You need to go. You need to go look at what it is. <laughs> Are you gonna try some before dinner? I'm just gonna have a bite. <laughs> oh, look at that! It is pouring rain, so I'm in my Aritzia Super Puff. My neighbors are doing construction and I am trying to get out of the apartment as quickly as possible because it's driving me crazy. So I am going to do some donations, drop off those presents, and also ship out the giveaway winners boxes because I just picked the winners from last week's vlog. It actually might have been two weeks ago. This month, getting sick, having it be pouring rain, and then the construction, it's just been a really all over the place month for me. I wanted to have like perfect weekly vlogs and that's just not what the universe had in mind for me. It has been 24 seven drilling and I've been without hot water like twice. So I'm just trying to stay positive and I'm going home for the holidays tonight. I can't wait to see my family. And they actually have Sammy because when I got super sick, I couldn't even like walk her. And so they came up to take her. And so I get to be reunited with her tonight. And I cannot wait. I miss her little face so much. I am so excited to use my big L.L. Bean boat and tote today. It is like the perfect size for groceries or taking boxes to the post office. So that is what I'm gonna use it for. I can link it below if you're interested. Just dropped off two of the giveaway packages. One is going to Philadelphia and the other one is going to Idaho. Um, the third one still needs to reply to me, but I wanted to give her like adequate time just in case. Um, now I'm gonna go drop off my donation bag at Lisa Says Ga, and that is quite a drive, but I also wanted to stop by and just look at the store, so it'll be fun. There was so much in that store that I would buy for myself. Honestly, I had to hold back, but I got this perfect little pasta ornament for my dad because when we were putting all the ornaments on the tree this year, we were saying that we kind of need to like retire some of them and like get rid of some of the old ones. And this was only $5 and he loves pasta. He's half Italian, so I know he's gonna love it and my entire family will appreciate it as well. I also made a second batch of ginger snaps and these ones turned out so much better than the ones I made for the party. They're a lot fluffier, but I need to pack those up so that I can bring them with me. I rolled half in turbinado sugar and half in like regular fine sugar just for a little bit of variety, but I know these are my mom's favorite and my favorite as well. I wasn't sure if these were all gonna fit, but they 
actually do. This is what I did for the party too. These little containers are from a restaurant supply store and they're honestly perfect for bringing and gifting baked goods. Now to fill up my big bag, I actually feel like Santa. That is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have the best holiday season and I will see you guys after the new year.